I'm the uh, co-founder of Hosky. Um, those in the community know me as really the, the Hosky dev, uh, but in true passing, I'm actually the CTO of the company for Hosky. Great to have you here today. Thanks. So I just wanted to talk a bit more about your project okay. and how you think the NFT at XLV event went. Okay, yeah, uh, for us, it's been brilliant as always. We try to, being Hosky, we're a, really a community-based project. So ultimately, we've got our community that we like to, we, we enjoy calling them our idiots. But basically, the project's all about a worthless token about um, two guys that actually thought we'd launch something as a bit of a fun, bit of a joke. Um, and then leading up to that, we're here now presenting from our booth what we do. Can I become an idiot? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Definitely, anybody can be an idiot. You go to our Discord channel and they'll treat you really well and nicely and they're just warm, fluffy clouds just bringing you in. Honestly, it's, <laughs> it's a very much a mean culture. So here we've been able to engage and that's ultimately what we're here for is at these shows it's brilliant then we get to meet different people projects around so obviously we're quite keen to engage with different projects and work with those but it's also the engagements of people that are actually part of our Hosky brand or those that haven't actually been involved so we've got a new thing called the proof of onboarding which is a poo object a, a, pu, a poo initiative it's a sip that we've created with the help of adam dean and the vespa wallet but basically we can now give away free airdrops via just a very simple process for people so the idea is, is engagement and trying to grow the brand of hosky and if we can grow the brand of hosky and engage with everybody else then that layer over uh, over aid will just grow as well um, how do you think that that integration with the with the wallet and this proof of onboarding worked? Like, did it, did it get a lot of buy-in from the community? Yeah. So we tried. We so we launched it at Rare Evo in Denver last month, um, and conversion rates was around five to ten percent. So we issued uh, a number of cards, and to be honest, we were a little bit disappointed. We didn't have as many people collect. But we've actually, over the last month, we've been able to talk to people in the community and they've gradually learned what this thing is. Now we've got people coming up to us saying, have you got a poo card? Can we have a poo card? And that's quite a weird thing for people to ask for, that proof of onboarding. But they're now realising they're getting some ADA, they're getting some NFT, they're getting some uh, fungible token of Hosky. Um, and then we've had other projects. So there's a few like DMU and um, I Hold here. They're giving away and some of the South American team, the, um, the Argentine group, they're also taking away that and actually giving away cards. And that's what it's all about. So Vespa were the first group to work with us on the SIP. So Adam Dean was instrumental in actually getting the agreement done between us in terms of how the process works. Um, so shout out to him because that's been brilliant. Yes. Uh, but he also had the network into the Vespa team. So they were flexible and said, we'll work with you. And then I wrote and provided an open source piece of code in Python that does the back end piece. It's not very clever, not very sophisticated, but it's enough to get the job done for us. So we've launched that as a beta. And then Adam has got a future process in a cloud that projects will be able to go to and you'll actually be able to enroll and set up your own airdrops and be able to print your own QR codes. So there's a service that he's going to provide very soon. Really, really practical, isn't it? And yeah. it like you said, a really great to, to engage with the community in a very non-fussy way. Well, previously we were giving away, uh, we, were, we were trying to find a way. So we were going to previous last year events and we would print 24 words and we would, we would fill those wallets with Hosky and Ada. We'd hand them out and ask people just to take, to, to recover the wallet take the money out or the ADA out and the, the worthless tokens, ship it off to another wallet and go away. But we were always, I was always conscious about the security side because yes. if they keep that wallet and then they put some ADA in, we could technically go and scrape those wallets later on and that's how people need to understand. There are security aspects, so by using this, Yes, they have um, total control of They that. keep the complete control of the yes. words. So the technical solution means we can very quickly onboard them we can give them an airdrop, but they keep the security side. So we've thought about all those dimensions of mm. the use versus actually receiving and how we deliver. Now, I've, I've, what I find it fascinating is that you started in the previous uh, event yep. and very quickly people are already asking you for it. Absolutely. Which is really, really cool. That means you had a lot of traction. From Absolutely. And we're seeing that the conversion rates has already jumped. As of yesterday, it was jumped to 10 to 15, 20% and that's going. But there's also the other aspect of it, that there's the data mining on the other side. So at the, after the event, we can actually go and see who, although we can't, we can't see who, we can see the address that claimed. Yes. 
Uh, so, and obviously those addresses are anonymous, um, but we actually then know what time they were and yes. what project. So for example, we've got our Hosky one going, but you've then got these other I hold and um, DMU, and we can see what time people claim those as well. So now we can go into that data and anal analytics of what projects we're actually giving away and what time. And I think there's a, there's a future case where you can link that up. So yes. we can actually say, for organisers of events, if you've got sponsors, you could actually get them involved together and actually you could data mine after yes. who collected what where. And you could even have links where you say, we've got five, say, um, five exhibitors. And if they go and go to each one and actually scan the code, it could strike off five times. And when they get the fifth one, they get an, that airdrop. So it's a special. And in that way, you're forcing... Like a treasure hunt. Yeah, it's like a treasure hunt. But it's also the forcing a way of being able to direct people to exhibitors. Yes. And you can take it one dimension more where you can actually say, actually, instead of them just scanning a QR code that may be on the booth, they, the, the, the guys behind the booth that are talking, they have it on their phone. So after they've spoken, you can then scan the QR code. So it's almost like proving that there's engagement. So there's a whole yes. multi-level of thought. Kind of, I think it builds the memory of the event as well, right? Absolutely, because yes. it becomes that fun. And that's all come out from the idea of when we did the summits in the past and you're in that virtual world and you can go and collect those NFTs. Yes. This is now in the real world. Yes. And you can link it that same way. And it's that it's whole mechanism. Personal. Yeah, it's a personal piece. Yes. We want the new guy, we want the new wallets, we want people that haven't had it before, had that experience. And from this point of view, we've already had a couple um, walking around who have only ever used Ethereum. We've given them a card and they're like, oh, we don't want to touch Ada. And they've, they've installed it, they've claimed it, and within two or three minutes they've got it, and they were amazed at what we were doing. They're like, they've not seen anything like this before. <laughs> So, that is actually brilliant. So it breaks that barrier down yes. and makes it easy. And it onboards more people into our ecosystem. So that's... Yeah, that's what we need. That's priceless. Yes. yes. Okay, great. All right, I'm going to keep this one here. Yeah, 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 you keep <laughs> that. This is mine. I'm not giving back. <laughs> uh, another thing that I wanted to ask you was, you know, what's coming next for Husky? What's... Yeah, so my problem is, is um, we're always busy. So yes. um, from my point of view, uh, we have this... Uh, we have uh, the 21 rug pulls, uh, and that might be in the future growing slightly, we're getting some more in, where we actually support, via staking, we support these pools. So we, introduce, we bring in small pools that do struggle for delegation, and we include them, and we provide Hosky as a reward mechanism. So if you stake your ADA, you get your ADA rewards like the protocol, um, but we also allow them to pull the Hosky if you want to collect that as well. So you're not taking a break? Yeah, no, 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 no. So they will be in that Discord already right now going, when, 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 <laughs> and that's all we see. And they meme me, so there's a whole bunch of memes of me going on about when PDF and all these sort of things. And, uh, that's a nice problem to have. But yeah, so they're asking, so, for the last um, year, they've been asked, and we've been promising the website. Unfortunately, I've had a, a unfortunately, and I don't mind saying here, but my dad passed away. So I had about eight months where he was very ill um, and then passed away. So the website's been delayed because of that. And there's only, there's only the two of us because we're keeping in this financial market at the moment in the way that we're in the bull market. We don't want to waste money and spend money yes. that we don't have. We've got to be smart about so, that. So, yeah, we've got to be smart. So, the community are very forgiving that they have this rug process that I run. Yes. It's a pain for me to run every regularly, every five days, and I've got to keep on top of it. But it needs to transition into a website. And I've been building this website, and unfortunately, it would have been done before my dad became ill, if you know what I mean. So, yes. I'm really now picking it up. Then the poo process came through. And we built that very quickly because we, we all agreed that was more beneficial to everybody. And so I've now flipped back to the website. And uh, for me, coming up, that's the, new, that's the next thing. And basically, the website will then give everybody, the way the staking mechanism works, they, you put your ADA in, and basically, based on the weight of the ADA, you get your percentages based on the pool you're in. Mm -hmm. But also, whichever rug pool you're in, um, we have cash grabs, which are NFTs. Um, and they all had their attributes, and we assign different attributes to the different rug pools. So you, you can maximise by, so we, each NFT, when you put them into one of the rug pools, will get a loyalty bonus that builds up under oh. time. It will give you a bonus on the attribute if it matches, um, and a whole bunch of other pieces just to make it more interesting. And the idea was always to be, when we have this website, as people move the cash grabs around, the bonuses will change in the pools. So the idea is to gamify it during the, during the epoch so people move it around and see. 
So that's what I'm building now, and I'm, I'm not far away. I already have the dynamic piece of the website working. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just now finishing off the code that goes through the transactions to actually yeah. figure out who's what where, and I'm having to do that in real time. So as the transactions go through, it has to check who's got what, where, and move it. So it's quite wow, a, it's quite a lot a, of manual work. It's a lot of a manual work, and that, that code's quite simple, actually. It's quite a simple process to do. But out of the end of it, it when the yeah. website goes up, people will be able to look at it and dynamically, like you see a DEX where you see a price changing, you'll see all these state pools rippling and all the different, and that, to me, it's gonna be quite an exciting moment. I, I hope, I hope, I hope it, it works out because we will now suddenly see we can add bolt-on new functions to drive that gamify gamification through the staking. And who's the benefit? The stake pool operators. Yes. Because we end up with more ADA and we end up with more cash grabs moving around. Um, and then we have the UN, so we have the UN uh, refugees pool, which is in there as well, which we treat slightly different. So we scrapped the cash grabs and the NFT bonuses and we doubled the bonus for ADA. So the idea is the UN actually um, set their uh, fee to 100%. So they always take the rewards, okay. which is a lovely model. They always yes. get the ADA. So we double the Hosky rewards. So although it's worthless, and I will have to stipulate it's worthless, the guys that want this Hosky, they end up with more nothingness. <laughs> more, more nothingness, yes. And, it, and they're supporting a good, a good cause as well. And it supports it? a great cause. So, yes. And that's working really well because they're growing nicely with the, through the, this whole process. I like, I like the fact by getting involved in a project, because we often, when we talk to projects, uh, we, we say, how do people get involved? But your project is all about having people involved all the time. Right, yes. And doing things that are fun and, you know, just cool things. We, we don't get value from, so I'll explain something in a second. We only yeah. get value when everybody's working together and yeah. everybody's pulled in. The more you pull in, the more value you grow. And that's what I think some projects fail to forget. Yeah. We've had the token where we've issued the token and we didn't necessarily sell the token, but that, that there's been an issue in the token. And we've been telling people it's worthless, but it's the fun engagement way we've done it. And then that's built up. And then we did do the NFTs, which we called the cash grabs. But what we've actually done is reinvested that into these rug pools. So we're delegating that money in. And, and the idea is, is there's an element where we have costs. So we come to these trade shows and we have to pay everybody out the, the fees for a stand and we give away. So we've given a lot of merchandise away. Good so, merch, by so, the way. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and the two of us have to fly around and we, we reward the team as well that have helped us on the booth. So we give them some, in fact, most of them are idiots. They take Hosky rather than take it. <laughs> so, so they come here and, they, and, and, and but it's nice. They, they, Volunteer they, idiots. But they want to be this. here. So they want to wear the Hosky suit. So we've got a Hosky dog yes. that runs around. It's... It, it, the Hos Hosky himself has worn the suit, but most of the time there is just as a spoiler alert, somebody else takes over. Ah, but, I didn't know about that. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of these things. So, but the idea is, is we we understand the value isn't yeah. actually trying to extract that. The idea is, is to grow the whole ecosystem. Yes. But it's not just growing what we are as a project. It's growing all the other projects around us and and linking up with other projects and. That's what, again, I think a lot of projects in this space forget. It's not just us. You have to work with everybody else. Yes. But, and that's, that's come out with the Vesper wallet. Yes. So, so there's that um, symbiotic, I can't say the word now. The, the, the relationship between the two of us means we drop that airdrop of Ada and Hosky, but they love it because as you use the, co the code, they're getting another install of Vespa. Yes. They're getting another, so they're instantly getting these free installs where they're getting new users coming into them. And new users are going through their onboarding and are able to feedback, this is what I don't like about the wallet, this is what I like about the wallet. Absolutely. So you're now just not having the Husky project, but you're affecting another project in the ecosystem. Yep, and then you've yeah. then got those other projects that can now airdrop yes. as well. So now they can do that, and now we've suddenly got this explosion. explosion. And then if we look at the data in the back end, we can now start to link everything together. So the, one little idea uh, that we wanted to Spark do sparks like this sparks this whole this whole mega idea. Absolutely, there is always <laughs> an element of that, but there is an element of being careful of how you do it, and managing yes. it. So yeah, so and from be our sustainable and, and have a you know a long a long life in the ecosystem. Yeah, and it's very much like and to go down that road that eco thought where everything has to be sustainable. You have to do things in ways that balances really. 
And if you don't work that way, the world just becomes a money grab. Somebody grabs all the money and everybody else ends up with nothing. Yes, and I feel like your community will appreciate the fact that you shared this personal step of your life as yeah. well. You know, everyone when, 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 but you know, they have yeah. to realize that there's a human behind that. Yeah. Someone with a life and you know, all of responsibility and so on. So I, I'm pretty sure the community will understand that. And, and it takes time as well. And I yeah. must admit, we've gone through it. So I was actually trying to create the website and other pieces whilst going through it. And it's only after on reflection, it was actually at De uh, Rare Evo at Denver, yeah. that I was able to say to my wife, and we had a holiday. So that's the other thing the community laughed because I, they call me the vacation king because <laughs> I'm always going on vacation because I like to travel with my wife. So my daughter and wife came to Denver and it was only after we had the show and had that, I suddenly realised, and I was able to say, I realise I'm back to normal. And so if you imagine, we're, we've got this when, when, web website, yeah. but actually I'm only really now engaging. And when I look at back at some of the things I've written during and developed during, you think, oh goodness, you've got to throw some of that away. It's just, where was my head at? And you realise now in life that when something like that happens, it is a big choice. But you don't know at the time, you just get on day by day. Yeah, I think it's just the processing. Yes, the absolutely. Thing, you don't stop to think what's really happening in yes. your life. Yeah, I know, it's really tough. But look, it's going really, really well. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing all of this with us. No, you're welcome. Really appreciate it. Okay, all the best. Thank you. We'll see each other soon. Yes, thank you. Yes, great, come. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, I love this. This is so cool.